<sighs> what is up? What is up, everyone? Welcome to a very special edition of what is this? Oh yes, reading our daily vlog, episode number three fifty eight. Full disclaimer: it's kind of a rough guesstimate. We kind of lost track, but if you've been living under if you've been living under a rock, uh, this is our daily vlog where we give you a little sneak peek into how our day went. What are we doing to scale our empire? So that you can take some of these tips, trips, tips, trips strategies implement in your own business in hopes that it helps you make more so you can give more to your favorite families communities uh, and favorite charities hence making the world a better place oh my god i want to give a big shout out actually i just saw that chad joined us and i was actually going to write this in, in some sort of facebook group or something i want to talk about i should say this i'm actually going to write in a post but i'll, I'll say it now anyway but um you know it's funny i one of the charities that we support we, we support three main charities uh, we fund clean water all over the world. We uh, give the gift of vision to blind children uh, by paying for the eye surgeries, and we support orphans all around the world. However, I am not anywhere near the hero here. Um, I just write a check uh, every month, right? Um, people like Chad, and you can check him out, Chad uh, Thibodeau. His last name is spelled a little interesting. Well, not. I mean, it's just lengthy, right? It's T H. I B O D E. It's Chad Thibodeau. It's Chad Thibodeau. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, people like him are the real heroes because he actually adopted a child. Like I have adopted many, by, but 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 just financially supporting them. His he adopted an orphan who's uh, in his home and has been for years. So so these are the true heroes. I, I'm just a donor. Okay. Um, a definition of a philanthropist is one that uh, improves the quality of of one's life. And, and you have a lot of great heroes like Chad. So big shout out to you, bro. Big, big, big shout out to you. Uh, I want to be like you when I grow up, seriously. Um, okay, cool. So a little emotional. <laughs> Let me take a breath. It's emotional. It is emotional. You know, when uh, it's, somebody doesn't have parents, it's sad. But um, okay. I want to talk about Peppa Pig, how to Peppa. So today was a very sad day. They opened the first ever Peppa Pig world in, you know, it's interesting. They actually came out with an article in America uh, that, that the youth, the kids are now having a British accent uh, because they're watching so much Peppa Pig. So they're unleashing these theme parks now all across the world. And actually the first one in America is right here in, in, in the Dallas, Texas area, in one of the biggest malls in the world. My daughter is, uh, you know, obsessed with it, right? She's like, um, like she's like, has an, has an addiction problem. So we were, obviously we went there. Very disappointed, very very disappointed. We went with pretty high hopes, but it was it was basically like uh, the eighth circle of hell. I mean, it was a, a complete nightmare, um, chaos. Okay, utter chaos, and it was just terrible. But. We can learn a lot of lessons from that. We can learn a lot of lessons from that. And I just want—I actually wrote them down here because I knew I was going to forget. So, <laughs> the first point I wanted to bring up, and it's actually a beautiful point, is that your competition stinks, right? And I keep—and I say this to everyone in a very friendly kind of. Let me go in this room over here. My, my wife just came over there. She's going to kick me out. So the first thing I was going to tell you, by the way, I'll just let me get this. Right Check out this cool painting. Isn't that kind of cool? That's one of my favorite paintings. Um, but anyway, your competition really stinks. I mean, from bottom to top. Now, let's talk about bottom to top. Bottom is like, and all due respect, no, no offense to anybody, but like take a digital marketer, digital marketer, for example, right? Any Tom, Dick, or Harry could say, hey, I can wake up right now. Hello? Hey, guys, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I had poor wireless connection. It was the first time that ever happened. So anyway, let's talk about how everyone's competition stinks. Okay, now we'll start at the bottom level, which is like digital marketers, and, and all due respect, right, with digital marketers. Sorry, I'm just walking around. I, this, this is why we we just kind of moved in, so it's like that is the match. <laughs> We're trying to like set up the place, but anyway, um, digital marketer. You can literally wake up today and be like, I'm a digital marketer, right? It's so funny. They have these posts online. It's like, hey, I just got my first ever client. What do I do? How do I service them? What do, what, you know, how do we do this? This is your competition, right? This is your competition. Your, your competition is honestly terrible, whether they're new or even if they're experienced. 
there's so much that they're not doing and it's so easy to do what they're not doing. It's, it's a real, real blessing. You know, it's funny. My co- I remember my cousin, my cousin's a real estate uh, mogul. He lived in New Jersey and I lived in Connecticut about an hour and some change away. And he started uh, flipping houses in Connecticut. And I said, I said, man, there's so much stuff in Jersey. Why are you coming all the way to Connecticut? He said, he said you know why? The competition is, is uh, pretty fierce in Jersey. He said, you know what? The competition stinks in Connecticut. He says, man, I can compete with these guys all day long. And he did. And he crushed it. He totally crushed it. Um, because he, he took a look at, he took a look at the, he surveilled, um, the land. He surveyed the land. He said, Jersey, sharks, animals, cutthroat, forget about it. Connecticut, sh- 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 land of opportunity. So he traveled a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I can tell you, honestly, for most of the industries that most people watching in here, oh, competition's terrible. Whether you're a digital marketer whether you're selling some sort of course for some sort of product, whether you're selling some sort of service, I mean, the comp- whether you're a coach, you do like funnels, you do bots, you do Facebook ads, whether you have some sort of course, you know what I mean? What's up, Brian? Brian's crushing it. Brian actually was, uh, I met him two years ago. Brian was my first ever client. Was it two years ago now, Brian? Something like that. Was it two or a little longer? Yeah, like two years ago, something like that. Oh my God, man, what a rock star you are. Two year, oh, around two years ago, something like that, Brian, refresh my memory. Brian was my first client. He had made, I think, zero dollars online. Brian's like a billionaire. <laughs> He's doing millions and millions of dollars just doing an awesome JV with uh, Ty Lopez. Um, and Brian's just a, an ass kicker. You know what I mean? He's just, like, he just a rock star. What did my first impl- coach ever tell me? Here's the guy... <laughs> Brian says, stop it. Tell me more. My first mentor was the first ever millionaire, female millionaire of our industry told me, um, here are the two things between the people who make it and the people who don't. Speed of implementation and size of action. Brian's just like, boom, boom, boom. And he aligns with the best. Just got into War Room, paid a, a bunch of money to get into a, a high-end mastermind. Um, go on a funnel hack and live. Action, 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 action. You know, and, and from zero to millions and millions and millions of dollars, you know, within a couple of years, uh, a, a true role model. And he's good looking. How do you like that? <laughs> so what's up, man? Uh, role models, guys, seriously, follow Brian. Seriously, man, seriously. There's a lot of cool people watching this. I appreciate you guys. Bob Clark is here. I, uh, I don't do podcasts anymore, but Bob convinced me to do his podcast because he's like, dude, it's only eight minutes. Come on. And, uh, and I was like, ah, oh, eight minutes I can do. All right, fine. So, so hey, listen, he was persistent. He was smart. I don't, you know, I don't do podcasts anymore because that's a topic for another um, daily vlog. But, but Bob, you know, was persistent. And I'll tell you something. Humans are humans are humans. I'll tell you something about if you want to like get in touch with an influencer or whoever. You want to know the easiest way? Just don't give up. Just be a pit bull about it. Really, this happens all the time. I remember I was talking to this big time, eight-figure earner, just, just a couple of weeks ago. And she's like, yeah, it's really weird. I talked to this dude just now. Um, and she's just like, yeah, he just wouldn't just he just wouldn't take no for an answer. He, I just had to talk to him for a few minutes because he just wouldn't. Like my whole staff was saying, dude, just please talk to this guy. It would be much easier if you just spent a few minutes with him because otherwise he's going to waste hours of our time by just never giving up. You know, And that's what it's about. You know what I mean? So that's a really cool thing. Eight minutes and eight seconds. Sorry. <laughs> that's right. A lot of really cool people. Hussam said, Brian who? Brian Page, man. Okay. So back to Peppa Pig. So your competition stinks. Here's another interesting thing. So I was with my two kids who are psychopaths, um, one and three. And they have just a few bicycles, right? And what? And there's like a million kids. And they only have a handful of tricycles, bicycles. So everyone, all the parents are like hawks. Literally, we're like hawks like hiding, like looking, like the second, like a kid drops a bike, we're going to be like cheetahs and just pounce and like, you know, go on that bike, grab that bike real quick so we can give it to our kid, right? It was crazy. It was, it was like survival of the fittest, okay? So it's like, I mean, the, the, the mini second, like the, 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 what the millisecond, the kid, like the kid's about to drop the, the bike, like three parents died, no, like to try to take the bike, right? And I was watching all these vultures, um, you know, fight each other over bikes. And I was just like, dude, this is so telling. 
you know, just reminded me that this, this is really what business is like. We all have a pool of potential customers, a massive pool of potential customers. And I'll tell you, if we don't take them, <laughs> somebody else will. <laughs> There's a line of other people behind you who will do it. So they all have their hands raised. The question is, are you letting them know? Do you, are you doing a good job in letting them know that, hey, uh, my name is so-and-so, and actually what you need is, is what we specialize in? Are you doing that? Because if you're not daily, if you're not marketing daily, I promise you there's a line of vultures right behind you. And here's the sucky part about that. What did I say? Let's tie it all together. Your competition sucks. Your competition is stinky stew. So if you don't take those customers, your competition no good, right? So if your competition takes your customers, they're going to give them bad information. They're not, your customers are not going to get good results. They're going to get hurt by that. So you should, as a person... Because I know that you're going to provide them good results. I know that you're good at what you do. I know that you get people results. So isn't it not your molecular responsibility to, to take on these clients and market to them and let them know on a daily basis that, no, dude, I am the man who can help you. Do not go with these guys. I am the man who can help you. Is that not making the world a better place? If God has gifted you huh, with the gift of um, whatever it is you do, Facebook ads, bots, courses, services, coaching, whatever it is that you, if God has gifted you with that, it is, is it not your molecular responsibility to go out there to the masses and say, hey, I am so-and-so and I will help you rock X. You have to do that because you've been gifted. You need to pass that gift to them, transfer it to them, help them. Otherwise, the vultures behind you was just going to screw them over. Huh? It's as simple as that. And, and, I, and I promise you that's what will happen. Whew, getting worked up. Supposed to be watching Downton Abbey with the wife. Supposed to, do, <laughs> supposed to do a quick Facebook live. Got all worked up. Okay. Um, so let me think. Pepper Pig. I learned that lesson in there. Competition stinks. People right behind you. Oh, yeah, dude. It is so easy to get word of mouth. You know, we just landed a client, a beautiful client. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Somebody was looking for a business coach. They wanted to grow their business. They need help with organic marketing. They need help with messaging. They need help to break through. Word of mouth. It is so easy. I was taking a look at Peppa Pig. Animals. Okay. Um, animals. Um, Hassan, no, that's, that's not true. Animals. Okay, these Peppa Pig corporate vultures. My kids are going there for lunch, right? Dude. Chips. Soda. Um, deli, low quality deli meat chicken sandwiches with the chicken head fillers in it. Um, what are the, oh, let me ask my wife. Neg, what else were they giving in that pepper pig lunch? Chips and what, candy, what kind of candy? It's like the jelly candies. Garbage, 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 like, like, dude, these are kids. This is a brand new facility. This is not like 1980 anymore. We're like, we're like doctors are recommending cigarettes. We know soda is bad for you. Like we know, like, why are you selling kids soda? Like what? There was soda there. Uh, dude, junk, junk. This is what I'm saying. It is so easy, huh? To get word of mouth to actually, <laughs> dude, how hard is it? We have organic peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now word of mouth goes about, hey guys, pepper pig, oh yeah, it was really nice. You know, oh my God, the food, oh my God. Organic, uh, uh, organic, uh, what the hell did I just say? Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, a little bit of juice in a nice container so it didn't spill. Oh my God, and they had these lovely fruit slices in the shape of pepper pig. Oh my God, forget about it, you gotta go there. You know, people, man, they're so easily impressed. They're so easily impressed with food and travel and experiences. That's what they average. The masses, they enjoy these things, right? And I enjoy them too, but we all enjoy <laughs> food, uh, experiential. Dude, instead of what was happening at that Peppa Pig thing, people are like, oh, it's dirty here. Oh, it's disorganized here. Oh, there's nowhere to sit. Negative word of mouth. It's so easy to get a... a, a, a Dude, I, um, I can attribute a lot of my success to having an army of salespeople that I don't pay. An army of salespeople, an army of volunteer salespeople whom I don't pay. What does that mean? That's just a cool way of saying word of mouth, right? That's just a cool way of saying word of mouth. And it's easy to do it. 
You just have to be better than your stinky stew competition. You just have to go the extra mile. For example, like I have a mastermind. It's going really well. There's one, there's one idea. Hey, if it's not broken, don't fix it. But me, I'm obsessed with having the best mastermind out there. I want my people to make the most so they can give the most. So I'm trying to give them all the tools possible. Like we recently added Techie Thursdays, huh? Any tech issues you're having, funnels, emails, whatever, come on Thursday. Our tech expert will help you. Traffic Tuesdays. You, uh, Facebook stuff's not working. We have a Facebook expert. Show us your ads. Show us your pixels, all that mumbo jumbo that I don't, I don't understand any of that stuff. Our traffic expert will help you. Now we're actually going to hire a life coach because as entrepreneurs, we're a little cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. We are. We, we, it's the gift and the curse, right? It's, it's the gift and the curse. Um, we're very emotional beings. We have a lot of emotional baggage. We're very susceptible to falling into traps of or bouts or spells of depression or anxiety or, you know, feelings of I just want to quit, right? This is why a lot of times people need a life coach to talk these things through, to talk about family issues, to talk about a lot of times we feel lost as entrepreneurs. We feel alone. We feel confused. Do you see what I'm saying? So now I'm getting a life coach into my mastermind so people have access to this person so that we can walk, work through these issues together. You see how my competition doesn't have these things. It's not hard for me to get a coach and everyone's going to talk about that. Huh? Do you see what I'm saying? Devin says, I love it. I love it too, man. I, 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 this is so sexy to me, honestly. It's like, <sighs> come on, guys. It's for the taking. Really, just give a just provide a good service the rest of your competition's not <laughs> really it's funny man I mean, <laughs> come on you just gotta do this much more. your competition is doing nothing man seriously they're terrible you just gotta do a little bit more than what they're doing and you just gotta care and you just gotta care and i'm sure you do and if because if you didn't you wouldn't be doing what you're doing there's one more point i forgot what it was let me check what that is. There was one more point here. I've written it down here. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. One second. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig. Oh, yeah. Well, look. I mean, you know, it's just a little bit of a cheesy thing. What's up, Cole? We all need mental help, man. Seriously. You're an entrepreneur. You need mental help. All right? There's nothing wrong with you. The only thing wrong with you is that you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> it's interesting, though. Like, um, you know, it was like a funnel, though, because you had to go in. The Peppa Pig you had to go in one way. And in there is a little upsell, which is lunch. And as you exit, there's a little pop-up offer where you have to exit through all their stuffed animals for sale, right? And what's interesting about that is this, that's like that's like a real life funnel. What was what I thought was interesting about that? Oh yeah, what's up, Nikos? I guess all the digital marketers do all these things, right? Hashtag live, hashtag replay. Listen, I'm not into all that stuff, but here's the thing. I would love for you right now on your phone or whatever to click the share button. And I'll tell you why. And I'll, and I'll ask you to do this. Click the share button, comment, give me hearts, do all that digital marketing crap. Because what ends up happening is Facebook reads these algorithms. They see, oh, yeah, this guy's having uh, engagement. People must like what he's saying. Okay, we're going to show this Facebook Live to more people. And I want you to do that because I think that this will help people. You know, this is like... Very profitable advice. Only if you feel like it's really good, then, then, then do that. Because then more people will see it and more people will make more. And then they'll give more. And then you'll have a piece of that blessing, won't you? Because it's because of you that more people saw that. Imagine one guy sees that. He gets a tip from it. He makes more. And then he gives more. And it's because you did some digital marketing crap, all this stuff. right? And I see you guys doing that. And I appreciate that. Okay. And the last point about that being a funnel is interesting. Because I saw a guy in one of these internet marketing groups today. So he spent a ton of money, a ton of money on internet stuff, courses, events, traveling, and he hasn't made a dime. Unfortunately, I've seen a, over, you know, over the years, I've seen many posts like that. And, he, and, and what kills me is this one line, oh, I see a lot of other people succeeding, but maybe it's not for me. Maybe it won't work for me. Maybe this internet thing will not work for me. Well, if you take a look at the ethical principles of persuasion, the way it works, the psychology behind it, the entry point, the cultivation, the monetization, uh, the um, collect the building of it, huh? 
It's exactly like the offline world. This, you know, it's really funny the way people talk about the internet, internet marketing, internet business, like it's some mystical unicorn that, oh, well, maybe we, like some magic. It's business. It's the exact same thing as offline business, except it's way better because it's online and you don't have a crap ton of overhead and a crap ton of liability. But it's the exact same principles as offline businesses. I'm going through the mall today. I'm walking through the mall today. I'm like, dude, I'm looking at the market. I'm like, all these, I'm like, that's scarcity. That's social proof. That's reciprocity. That's likable authority. All the big boys, all the big stores, all the big chains, everybody. I'm like, this is just offline. But we do the same things online. Do you see what I'm saying? Is that not like, so business is business is business, guys. Like, we are our number one enemy. We can't think that this like online thing is mystical. It's just that there's certain formulas that you're probably not following. Simple as that. You know, we we can help you with that. We've helped eight funnels hit seven figures. So if you're confused about that, we can help you. But real life is offline and online. So I just wanted to blur that line that like the online is something like, what is that? What is that online world? Will I ever understand it? You already do. You just don't know it. Do you see what I'm saying? And a lot of times the offline people, that offline old school understanding of business, that stuff still works all day, every day. You write, you, you read sales letters that used to get mailed to us in the 80s before the emails. People used to mail these things, sales letters. They used to mail it. Hey, come join my program. And they used to write a sales letter. It was the exact same sales letter. If you break down the structure... And you look at the online sales pages, it's the exact same thing. Nothing's changed. Just a couple of words have changed. There's a few new words. Facebook, Instagram, live. Just a few new words. But what these platforms do, that's been going on for ages. The psychology behind it. Okay, I got to go make up to my wife because I wasn't supposed to be doing a live. I'm not supposed to be doing a live right now. I'm supposed to be having family time. But... I had Peppa Pig on my mind, and I thought I'd sneak in a quick live. I thought she was going to make a smoothie or something, and it would take a little while, but she's right over there, and I'm going to get a lecture, <laughs> so I got to go. But guys, I hope to see you at Funnel Hacky Live. Um, it's been a cool day. Kids did not have school, so we dealt with that. Tomorrow, we're back at work. We're, gonna, uh, we're trying to get an interior designer for our office because I think our environment shapes us. And I think with the right environment, we can make more so we can give more. And um, awesome, guys. It's been a great day. I miss you guys. I love doing these lives. Uh, can't imagine life without it. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.